All right, I'm going to show you how to embed web content in order to have manipulatives available that students can work with in Nearpod. So I'm going to do this by starting with uh, building my Nearpod within Google Slides. If you prefer to create your Nearpod in Nearpod itself rather than in Google Slides, everything I'm showing you will work in the exact same way. So it works either way. We're going to add the slides in as web content. So first of all, I'm going to go to my add-ons, click here, and go ahead and open Nearpod. Again, this is because I prefer to work in Google Slides and move it over to Nearpod. I just need to have that Nearpod add-on open. Great, so it's all open, fired up, and ready to go. Uh, so now I know this will move over to Nearpod when I'm finished. Um, I've got my title slide here, and let's say in this presentation, the next slide that I wanted to add is going to be a set of manipulative slides. So when I'm making manipulative slides, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a separate Google slide deck. So this is a completely separate file. So if you're working in Nearpod, you need a separate tab open with your Google slides. So these are going to be my manipulative slides. The way this is going to work is that each student is going to have a number that they're assigned to, and they know that that is the number slide that they're going to work on. So in order to have enough slides that look exactly the same for all of my students, and the slide's already set up for me, I've got my counters, my 10 frame, my problem, and my number bond here. What I'm going to do is just click on this slide here, and I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to do that by just, I'm on a Mac, so I hit Command D, I believe it's Control D on a PC or a Chromebook, and just keep duplicating it. And let's say I have 24 kids in my class. Great, now I have 24 slides. So in class, when we're on the Nearpod, every student will have an assigned number. It's the same every time they know what the number is, and that's the slide that they are going to go to. So I've got all 24 of those slides. This is set up, it's ready to go. What I need to do is make sure that the settings here are appropriate so that students are going to be able to work in this. So I'm going to click on the share button and what I want to do is change the permission down here. So I'm going to change it so that anyone with a link can edit. So that is super important. If I don't set it so students can edit, they're going to get to this slide. They're not going to be able to move their counters around. So again, anyone with a link can edit. I'm going to copy that link here. So I'm going to hit copy link. And then I can go ahead and close this. So now my slides are ready. I've got the link copied and I'm ready to embed this as web content. So right here I'm switching tabs and moving back to my slides that I was working on that I was building in Nearpod. You might have noticed I didn't need that Nearpod add-on open here because these are just Google Slides that I'm going to embed as web content. So back to my first slides. I'm going to go ahead and insert a web content slide. So I go down to my slide types with my Nearpod pod add-on. Those are in alphabetical order. So my very last one is web content. I click there and I'm then prompted to go ahead and enter the URL. That's what I just copied. So I just hit paste and save. And this always takes just a second for it to catch up. Uh, it's moving a little slowly too because I'm recording what's happening on my screen, but there we go. I've got my web content screen there and in just a second it will show me a preview of what that content looks like. So now when I launch this in Nearpod, if I click uh, save and go to Nearpod, I'll have my Nearpod lesson, it's ready to go. And then when I'm teaching this, there we go, now I can see it, it's the slide I wanted. When I'm teaching this, when I just flip to what in this presentation is gonna be my second slide, that web content will pop up, every student will have it, they can scroll down and work on their specific slide.